morning, everybody. Day 63 for us. Yeah. Got uh, got uh, the start we wanted. It's about 5.15. We're a little bit onto the trail. Beautiful campsite last night. That's probably one of the better ones we've had over the last several days. Um, just nice flat spot. You know, plenty of everything we needed. Uh, sun actually came out last night after... After all the rain, or it was what started spitting snow and rain, and the sun came out. It was like having a heated uh, condominium when you were It was, your yeah. Tent. It was tent. really nice. Yeah. And, uh, so we, we didn't got, have any rain, really. Just a little bit of spitting, and then it stopped. So that even made the, that campsite better. Yeah. Had uh, some condensation this morning. Um, and so we'll have to probably find a spot to dry again today. Uh, we got 10 miles we're going to try to do. Again, our goal is to try to get to the base of Forester Pass. We've got one big creek crossing here this morning in probably about uh, 45 minutes or so. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're both really excited about getting cold because it sounds like we're going to have to wade across. Yeah. Uh, but we'll give you an update when we get down there. Hopefully uh, it's a wade, not a uh, partial swim. You know? <laughs> yeah, it better not be a partial swim. <laughs> yeah, that could be bad. That would be really bad. Uh, looks a little cloudy this morning. The weather forecast says it's supposed to be clear until about 2 today. We're hoping that'll push a little bit and give us time to get to where we need to go. But as always, if we have to, we'll pull up short. So, all right, well, we're going to get going here, and we'll show you what we're into when we get down to the creek. Take care. Have a good one. All right, we come up to one of the tributaries of Whitney Creek. We decided to kind of go upstream to the meadow area. We saw some comments about that. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and try to cross here. And this is one of the tributaries, and we'll go down cross another one over there before they join um, so we'll see how this goes talk to you a little bit uh, we have come to the second tributary we got through the first one pretty good and then uh, walked across to all of that and now we're finding a pretty good spot here it starts out a little bit deep uh, Joe's gonna demonstrate for us how deep it is yeah yeah <laughs> yeah Deeper. Oh, not bad, not bad. It actually feels pretty good. Before I forget. And then, Joe, when you get across, walk the shoreline. Yeah, to down that little ramp. Got that yeah, not bad at all. I think this might be the last tributary we're going to have to do. And head our way back to the PCT. Woo! Cold? Yeah. All right, my turn to go play in the water. All right, we have made it up to the junction with Mount Whitney. This is the uh, northern junction. We are not going to be doing that. Um, you see it up there. It looks like it was getting some snow this morning. I know we talked to Ranger the other day. He said it was quite a bit of snow up that way. So we're going to continue on the PCT. You okay with that, Joe? Yeah, it's gonna keep doing PCT. All right, okay. And uh, they've maybe... already had three weather events in the last week up there. Yeah, and another one going on today. Right. So I don't think so. Yeah, we had a good long talk with the ranger, the ranger station we stopped at, and he was giving us conditions and everything, and saying, yeah, it was a little bit rough up there. So we've met a few hikers that were gonna go up and do it. So we'll get some intel from them when they come back. But, we'll live uh, vicariously. Through exactly. Them. All right. And we'll live. That's the key thing. The key thing. All right. All right. We're going to keep walking. Talk to you all in a little bit. All right. Continuing our climb. We just peaked a, a, got to the top of our first climb and headed on down. Going to get water and it is covered in snow. This is actually a stream underneath me right here. So what we did was uh, come down here and dug down so we could get, reach our arm down into it. This is, a, again, what they refer to as a snow bridge. It's just covering the water all up. But we were able to get what we needed. Thanks to the long arm of David. Yeah, and the sharp ice axe action of no filter. So, all right, we're going to continue on, and we'll talk to you all a little bit later. Wallace? Wallace, Wallace Creek. There's no graceful way. Get on your butt. Yeah, buddy.
There's the tough part coming up. More current. A little deeper. It just makes it look easy. Yeah, he's home free now. Ta-da! Oh. Oh. Woo! Day 63. Joe demonstrating the booty entry method. Joe's crossing Wallace Creek now. Not too bad. The flow's pretty good right here. I mean, it's not too strong. Good job, Joe. Yeah. Good job. I got my pants wet, though. I got one more. One more. Right, day 63, here's the uh, sunscreen coming across. Making it look easy. Good job, man. Wow. This is ice cold, man. Coming up on Wright Creek. And luckily for us, there is still a snow bridge intact right in front of me. As you can see, it uh, would be quite the crossing. I think we're going to make a quick stop here. Quick bite. Lunch. Camel up a little bit on water. Yeah, we'll talk to y'all down the road. Seven. All right. Came out to this view, just incredible. We think Forrester Pass is straight ahead that way. And we'll certainly find that out tomorrow, but I mean, the view is just incredible. to the top and these views are just just incredible I'm so stunned I'm silent that's pretty rare all right we're gonna continue to work our way to the top got about a half mile to get there talk to you in a little bit yeah here at Tendo Creek. Well, luckily for us, there's still a snow bridge available. I was walking across. I would not want to have to forge this one. Not three in the afternoon. Jump up and down on it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get crossed, and uh, we're getting close to where our camp is. We're getting up near our campsite which is, which is at the base of Forester Pass. Great runoff. Very pretty. Uh, hey everybody, this is the wrap up for our day 63. 
Good um, day. Really good day. Yeah, overall, really good day. We, as you know, we got started about five, and uh, we got here, well, after three. Yeah, about uh, three, three fifteen. Yeah, had, so boy, it was getting slushy by the time we got here. It was. It was. Um, we thought we would do better time, but we had those two river crossings that we ultimately had to, you know, take shoes off and those kind of things, and that always slows you down to get everything back going and, yeah. and all that. So, but uh, we made it to where we wanted to be, which is at the base of Forster, the Forster Pass. A big thing tomorrow. Big thing. Get up early. Yeah. I'm try to be on the trail at three o'clock and get yeah. up over that bad boy, but before it gets uh, too warm. Yeah, before it gets slushy. Uh, sunscreen's going to join us, um, unless he, there's some other hikers that came in, so he may jump over and join them, but uh, he was by himself, so he asked if he could join us, and certainly can. Yeah, um, the more the merrier. Yeah, more the merrier. But So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we ended up getting here to Tyndall Creek Campsite, but it, they're all pretty much covered in snow. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a sight, yeah. Yeah, it's a sight, but all right. We're camped on the snow tonight, and it's, yeah. you know, walking around here without your... Uh, crampons on you about bust your butt every yeah. time you turn around yeah so i'll show you a little bit of our tent site but anyways that's pretty much it we just uh we just hiked we didn't even do lunch today yeah. we just kind of hiked we didn't we didn't film much at the end of the day i think we showed you the the snow snow yeah. bridge that got us over here and stuff yeah. like that but at one point we were just heads down trying to get through the slush but god there were some great views we oh, incredible Incredible. You know, it it's like postcard away. stuff. I'll show you the one that's in the view right above our tent here. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. So show them a site, and that, that yeah. view would be great. And yeah. And then uh, we'll talk to you all tomorrow. I'm not sure how much video and we'll get to do on the pass as we're going up. We'll try to, but certainly we're going to be safe about it. Yeah. Um, keep our eyes on Yeah, so this is our first big one. Um, to say we're anxiously nervous, nervously anxious, anxiously nervously excited. Anxiously or something like that. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever that one. There's a lot of emotions going on here in this uh, gotcha group <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, we will uh, talk to you all in the morning and certainly keep you posted on how our big Forester Pass is going. Absolutely. Well, Take care, y'all. You, know, you can squeeze it in, too, if you want to show a wider view for the close-up stuff. You know what I'm talking about? So instead of enlarging, you can do that. There you go. He's always full of advice. Anything else? No, you just okay. get on with Let Christy get on with what she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, well, this is this is what our tent site looks like. Uh, you can see, like we just mentioned, we're in the snow, but look at the view behind us. Let's see if I can zoom in, if Joe will let me do that. <laughs> well, there we go. Look, at that. look at that. That's just incredible. I wish I had a view like that every night. Um, yeah, it's pretty but, impressive. Yeah, anyways, and then we have a... Oh, I'll actually stand up here. We have a small tree well. It's got just a little bit of dry space that we're able to make use of. It actually worked out pretty well. We just sit down yeah. and eat and yeah. stuff like that. It did. It worked out real good. <laughs> it's going to be scary for you getting out of your I know. tent. I <laughs> mean, look at this. Um, you can see my tent's kind of it's got a little slant down to it, so I get to slide out of the, the tent. So, All right, we'll cut it here. And and remember, your ice axe is right where you're <laughs> getting out. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what color my blood is. So, All right, we well, all take care. We'll talk to you in the morning. Yeah, take care.